Today's seminar uh, focused on our development studies project uh, that conducted uh, six country studies uh, over the last uh, four years. And that project uh, responded uh, to uh, two recommendations under WIPO's development uh, agenda uh, that called uh, for um, 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 evidence-based uh, uh, policy making in, in, in developing countries. We worked in six countries uh, throughout uh, the world. We worked in three Latin American countries, in Chile, in Brazil, and in Uruguay. Uh, we worked in China and Thailand, and uh, we worked uh, in Egypt. Uh, at the outset of each uh, of these country studies, uh, we sat down uh, with uh, government, uh, with uh, national stakeholders. Uh, we discussed uh, what are the kinds of uh, policy questions uh, that they are interested in. And on the basis of that, uh, we proceeded uh, with uh, the studies. Uh, one important common element of all of these studies uh, was that up front, uh, we um, created uh, new databases uh, that laid the foundation to gain new empirical insights into um, the relationship between intellectual property protection and socioeconomic development. Well, I would start uh, with, uh, with the data. Um, we created uh, databases uh, on IP use drawn from the operational data that exists uh, in um, intellectual property offices. Uh, uh, but we also um, worked a lot uh, with these data. We cleaned applicant names. Uh, we provided bridges between intellectual property data and firm performance uh, um, um, data. And uh, that uh, not only served as an input uh, to our study work, uh, these are public goods uh, that we hope uh, other researchers uh, can, can uh, uh, use as well. Secondly, uh, um, we um, conducted a number of analytical studies uh, that allowed us to gain new insights on how IP use affects uh, socioeconomic development. Uh, some of the things uh, that I suppose we suspected uh, were borne out uh, in the studies that we conducted. For example, the studies highlight the importance of trademark use uh, among small and medium-sized uh, um, enterprises in developing countries. Other things I think were more surprising, such as the reliance of, uh, uh, of firms in Chile's mining industry, for example, on the intellectual property system. And finally, I think a third important outcome of the project uh, was the creation of research capacity. Um, you know, we um, um, uh, worked with uh, local economists uh, in the countries in which we uh, conducted uh, the study work, and also in the intellectual property offices, uh, uh, there, were there was economic research capacity created. And in, in the case of two countries, Chile and Brazil, you now even have um, you know, full-time economists working in these offices conducting economic research work. Well, I would point to two limitations. One is you know, um, that, um, of course, you know, we had an empirical focus, and I think some of the really interesting questions, there just was not sufficient data uh, to answer all of the questions uh, one, one might be interested in. Also, I think one has to be careful, as always is the case in, in, in social science about causality. You know, quite often, I think we are able to uncover interesting correlations that I think do inform the policy discourse, but I think one has to be careful um, not necessarily to infer causality um, from some of our findings. Um, what next? Uh, well, first of all, all the studies uh, that uh, we um, produced uh, are available on our website. Uh, <coughs> just go to WIPO uh, Economics, uh, search for it in Google, and uh, you would find our development studies page uh, where you would uh, find uh, all the country studies that were conducted as part of the project. Uh, also, our member states uh, approved a second phase uh, of uh, this project, uh, so we will be um, continuing with this work. Uh, we will follow up in some of the countries in which we've already worked. Uh, we will also work uh, in um, um, new countries in which we have not engaged in economic research work uh, so far. And we very much hope to um, you know, take this work uh, to um, new regions, especially in Africa, and also explore topics uh, such as the impact of uh, copyright protection that uh, so far um, um, we have not considered. <laughs>